Lesson 8-7, Applications of Right Triangle Trigonometry. <clears throat> You've already done a ton of applications already in your problems. There's just one thing that we add to here, and we give you extra practice because we want to make sure you realize trig is one of the more worldly useful applications you'll get. So I usually draw a real pretty picture, but I'm going to keep it simple. Got a lighthouse here on land and then the water and the boat. I'll put the boat low in the water. And they look up, they see the lighthouse, and you've got 100 feet. So we've got two expressions. The first is angle of elevation is 6 degrees. The vast majority of application problems are tangent. Wanna know how far away this boat is? Call it D for distance. D over 100. Some quick and simple multiplication. D equals 100. Tan of 6 degrees. Pull out the calculator. And we get a ugly number, so something's wrong with my calculator. Nothing's wrong with my calculator. I've made a mistake. Tan is opposite over adjacent, which is 100 over 6. So distance, pardon me, over D. Distance equals 100 divided by tan of 6. And we end up with 950 feet to the boat. So, no problem. You've already done that application problem. Draw the picture right. You're good to go. But here's the problem. Get this angle of depression thing in here. And I'd love to say there's a reason. It's just nomenclature. And it's really annoying. It almost feels to me like math teachers are trying to confuse you. Six degrees can also be described as the angle of depression. So these are both six degrees by alternate interior angles, AIA, because the view to the horizon and the horizon itself are more or less parallel for all applications we'll have. We're not getting into the curvature of the globe quite yet. So when you see angle of depression, don't mess with it. Put it down here. A lot of people put it up here, and that is wrong. Don't put it in the upper notch. But that is it. Just watch out for angle of depression. Good luck.